You? Is anybody? There's Molly, folks. That means your friends, the Goldbergs, are here. Brought to you by Does, the new kind of soap for everything in your wash. First, let's drop in on the Dozen family. Oh, there's Unky Dozen with his camera again. He's photographing Ma while she's trying to hang her wash on the line. Unky's telling her. Say, Ma, I'm going to send those pictures of you hanging out your Doz wash to Procter & Gamble. Now, Unky, they don't want pictures of me. Doz is their new soap discovery. They know it does everything in my wash. Well, we'll send them real pictures showing how Doz does my overalls and work shirts and towels and, and even Daisy's rayon do funnies. And now, hold still, Ma. I want a picture of you holding that work shirt. Got it. And me looking aside. Well, them work shirts look mighty swell. They sure do, Unky. Does get some clean, easy. No hard scrubbing or fussing with a bar soap, even. Why, does get dirt out all by itself. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Ma. Come on now. I want to get a shot of you and them towels. Steady. <laughs> Got it. But, Unky, my hair's a mess. Well, them towels sure look nice dazzling in the sun. Of course. I always say, no soap made gets towels and linens whiter than does. Now, 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 hold it, Ma. I want to take a color shot of you posing with them rayon panties. Now, there. Oh, Unky, I take awful pictures. Oh, you look pretty, Ma. And so do the colors in them nice things you does. Well, I don't need any picture to see that colors stay bright longer with does. Yet you can't beat it for getting out tough dirt. Uh, now, Ma, you take a snap of me holding this big red box of does, huh? Hmm. Next, you'll be wanting your picture put right on the box. Well, I always say, <laughs> nothing's too good for does. <laughs> and nothing's too good for you ladies on wash day. So try does. Because compared to other leading granulated wash day soaps, does gives longer life to colors, plus unsurpassed whiteness and real cleaning power for the dirtiest clothes. Does, D-U-Z, does everything in your wash. And now the Goldbergs. Well, sir, Molly watched with amazement. She stood stock still and couldn't believe her eyes. And her suspicions crumbled in her mind and fell away. For everything that Molly had come to suspect about her daughter-in-law was based on the firm belief that Grace had simply come to the Goldbergs to get what she could from them. But Grace deliberately tore up Rosie's check and then said she was leaving. Grace is upstairs now, waiting for George to come and take her to the station. Listen. Why, why are we all sitting like this? Jake, Molly, Rosie. Everybody can be wrong. Not, not everybody is right always. So go up. Go up. T tell Grace not to go away. Apologize to her. Jake. Jake, go up and apologize. Jake, Rosie, Molly. Do you want me to, Ma? Yes. Let me. Me she loved, but I was Brutus. I stepped the left. It was the deepest cut of all, because she loved me. So, so go up. So say you are sorry to Grace. I'll know what to say, David. At least my conscience is clear. Not for one moment was I bamboozled with your stories. Not once. Molly. Molly, don't, don't eat yourself up. Look, look what you look like. She tore up the check, David. So we, we were wrong. It's no? all my fault. I, I poisoned your mind against Grace. Why did I listen? Did I have to listen? And if I did, wasn't I old enough to keep the wheat and let the chaff go? Because two people came to the same town together. Was that a reason to put two and two together? No, not only you, Molly. I, I also put two and two together. If she goes, if Grace goes away, so where will she go? She, she wouldn't go, Mom. She wouldn't go. If you'll apologize and tell her, she, she wouldn't... George went to get the car ready to take her to the train. So, so he went, but, but she, she wouldn't go, Mom. So the what? what is Papa saying? I can't hear, Mom. I, I, I can't hear. David, David, Samuel, hear what transpired here. 
what we did to his wife. David can never be the same. My family's henceforth divided. Maybe Grace will never let me see the child. Maybe I'll never hear the word Grandma. You'll hear, Mommy. Aye, you'll hear. Suspicion, David. Suspicion. One human being for the other human being. Putting meanings to words. What kind of stories did I make up in my mind about my own son's wife? I started it, Ma. It was all my fault. It was only because... because I know because what it was. I know what it was. If it wasn't for the money... No, it wasn't, Ma. It was everything. Everything. Everything and everything that we thought turned to nothing. No, it wasn't everything. It was something. It was special. It was one thing, it was one single thing that twisted us and turned us and made us into people that great hates now. It wasn't us, It Ma. was the money, was the check. The money and the check. The root of all evil, the Bible calls it. And for us, the money was the root of all evil. It was because she needed the money that we had to give it to her. It was because we had to give it to her that we began to twist and turn our thoughts. We took our thoughts and we turned them this way and we turned them that way. And we looked and we searched and we made innocent things into guilty things. We made molehills into mountains. We found a million places to look into. And everywhere we looked was like, how shall I say, was like a looking glass. And the suspicion of our minds came back to us. And we thought it was real. Oh, how money was the root of the evil. You see how it blossomed into a tree, huh? It wasn't everything, Rosalie. It was one thing. And through that one thing, we turned our dearest possessions into... Jake? Jake. Well? She's leaving. She's leaving. Go up, Rosalie. Rosalie, go up. Go, Rosalie. You were the worst offender. I'm going also. Me, me also. Come, Jake. It won't help. Well, come, let's, Jake, please. Well, let's use you ourselves. Don't help. Don't help. Don't help. Don't help. Don't help. Don't help. shower. A shower is wet, too, the no? The sun will be out and dry everything in a minute. Grace wouldn't even let Mom in her room, Uncle David. Me, me need to... Try, Molly, try. Because tears are futile. Jake. Try, Molly, try. Jake. Well? Don't ask questions, David, please. So, so, so I wouldn't ask. Don't. All right, I, I, I wouldn't ask. It's my fault. It's my fault, Uncle David. No, mine. I'm older. Please. Please. It's everybody's fault. Everybody's fault for seeing evil where there was only good. That's why it's everybody's fault. Can one person corrupt a house? Can a single man corrupt the world? Did the trouble in the war come because one man was bad? Are we children to think such a thing? Let us put the blame where it should rest, in the heart of everybody. We wanted something evil, and evil put out its hand to us. Likewise here. Likewise in my own house. Please answer whoever it is. I'm not home. Answer it. Uncle David, if, if it's for me, I'm... All right, all right. Nobody's here. All right. So I'll say nobody's here. Hello? Goldenberg's residence. Nobody's here. Ask who? Uh, who? Well? well? One minute. I'll ask her if she's here. Are you here, Molly? To who? Masha. Masha? What does she want? Hello. If it's important, she's here. If not... David, please. Yes? 
It is. What? It's important, Molly. Important? Forgive me if it's important. Rosalie, close the window. Hello? Yes. Well, I was home, but I wasn't because... Well, I'm not feeling so, so, so. How are you, Masha? Huh? Uh-huh. Well, uh, yes. Well. What well? What well? Uh-huh. When? Huh. Also? Also? What also? Also what also? Ma, George is here with the car. All right, Masha. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you, Masha. Well, what is what it? What is it? That's George twittling for Grace, huh? Yes, Yes, ma. why? Why? Rosalie, tell George to come in. Well, what did what Masha, did Masha say? say? George gave notice. He's also leaving. Perhaps this seeming coincidence will bring reality back into Molly's mind. Except that Rosie's check, which Grace tore up, dims Molly's ability to think clearly. Friends, being Americans, I know you're buying all the war bonds you think you can afford, but right now is a good time to make sure. Figure out if you're really doing your best. Here's why. Next month, we start pay-as-you-go taxes. Under this new law, most of us will be paying about the same taxes last year. For instance, if your family income is, say, $45 a week and you have two children... Well, the amount of tax withheld from your income this year will be exactly 4% of your total 1943 income. And this year, you pay as you earn through payroll deduction. So now you can plan expenses and your war bond purchases knowing exactly where you stand. So figure it out now, today. Figure your necessary expenses and how much money you have to spend. Then put every extra dollar you have left into war bonds. Try and make it 15% this year. Buy every extra bond you can and keep it up. Be sure to listen to the next episode of The Goldbergs. Grace leaves with a fine, dramatic flourish. This is Clayton Collier speaking and reminding you to do as the dozens do. Let does, the new kind of soap, do everything in your wash.